Hey everyone, so today we're going to take a closer look at my van. I realized that I haven't really done an official van tour since I recently remodeled my van. So today we're going to take a closer look at it. It is a 97 Dodge Ram van. It's the 2500 chassis, the short van with the V6 motor. It's kind of a rare model. It's got 130,000 miles on it currently. It gets about 17 miles per gallon. And uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at it. So here's the van from the driver's side. As you can see, it has no windows on this whole panel. And you can get a little bit of a glimpse of the solar panels up on the roof rack. And on the back, I normally have my bike rack set up with a mountain bike on it. Got my spare tire here, and these doors open up to access a little bit of the storage in back. These just open up here. There's not a whole lot to see from the back. I designed this to really to be able to access everything I needed from inside the van. So this is a set of drawers that open up from the inside. I do have a storage crate here and another one on this side. I keep my laundry basket here. This has stuff like winter stuff, my propane heater. Over here is some just miscellaneous camping gear, an extra fan, some electrical supply stuff. Uh, just stuff stored in back here and then from the inside we'll take a look on how I have that set up as you can see I do have a shelf along the back that I keep the majority of my clothes rolled up and just stored up there usually keep reflectix in the windows to keep the Sun out helps with keeping the temps down inside the van and close that up on this side of the van I do have windows all along this panel uh, they do not pop open though, neither the back or the side ones pop open. I do have the barn doors here. I do have this solar shower tube set up here. This has been working very good. This is a new addition. Uh, I can fit about, geez, I think seven gallons of water in here. It heats up with the heat of the sun. I can put a hose and nozzle on the back, take a warm shower as it heats up from the sun, pressurize it uh, to have pressure. Up top here we have two 100 watt solar panels to make a total of 200 watts. Those are the Renergy 100 watt panels. Inside I have two 6 volt golf cart batteries stored underneath the bed here. As you can see there's an inverter there in the box behind the inverter. I have 220 amp hours of power. And looking in from the side doors here you can see my little kitchen area. I do have a one gallon propane tank stored down here. That powers my Coleman Power Pack single burner propane stove. It's my little tea kettle there. This is a pretty efficient space to cook on. I do have a fold out table. I am uh, trying to get a bracket set up to lock it into place when I raise it up. That will help with cooking space. I do keep a little trash can here, comes in handy. Taking a look on the inside, you can see I just have it very simple. I just have a very narrow bed along the side here. I'm a 5 foot 11. I think this is about 30 inches wide and about 6 feet in length. A little longer than 6 feet. So uh, it's perfect for my size. I find it very comfortable. It's just a piece of 4 inch foam. I believe I got that from like Joann's Fabrics. Cut it to size and it's worked out great. Just have a plywood platform that's actually hinged so I can lift it up to access storage underneath. And underneath I just have crates that I could slide out. I've got various tools and stuff stored under there. Camping gear works out very well. And sitting on the bed on the inside, you can see my 12 volt fridge here. This is made by Dometic. It is called the CF18. It runs on 12 volt power strictly and can be used as a freezer as well. You can turn it down and use it as a freezer. I just keep a couple spare blankets stored on top. It helps keep a little bit of the cold in. Next to the fridge, you can see I have a two gallon jug of water I use for drinking water. It's got a hand pump on it, works out very well. I keep another six gallon jug of water that I use to fill this up as this empties out. So I carry a total of eight gallons of drinking water. Little storage shelf here. I have a Bluetooth speaker I can listen to music on through my phone. A little oscillating fan helps in the heat. And a little charging station, cigarette lighter adapter, two USB ports charge controller for, for my solar setup, fuse blocks for everything that's connected to the solar power. Like I said, the batteries are just underneath this portion of the bed here. 
Looking over to the kitchen area, I do have a big storage drawer here. I keep my uh, cast iron skillets, utensils, and everything in there. Stove up top. As you can see, there is the propane tank. Just have to turn that on and off before I use the stove here. This is my five gallon utility bucket. I use this as a stool. It does have a padded seat that spins. You can slide this out to about right here, sit here. I'm the perfect distance to sit and cook as well as be able to spin around and access food over here. Spin around, access food out of the fridge. It's very convenient. This also is a dual purpose. I do store items in there and it's also my uh, emergency toilet. I have a lid that I can pop off this one. Put this on, line it with a bag, and use it as an emergency toilet. Comes in very handy, although I don't need to use it for that often. I'm usually somewhere that there's a toilet nearby. Looking to the back, I mentioned I do have my clothes rolled and stored on this shelf here. There's another fan vent on the roof here. I have this wood paneling, simulated wood paneling. Has foam board insulation behind it. Same on the walls here. I do have a mailbox that I use just for storage. These are LED lights. They're magnetic. Uh, they're out of batteries right now, but those are battery powered LED lights. Over on this side, I do have a paper towel holder. This is all basically food storage here. Got a little tray that's held in by this bungee cord for food items, pastas, nuts, things like that. Collapsible dish pan to be able to do dishes. I use it for storage as well. There's a strainer and some other kitchen items in it. Two trays here with food items. A lot of my dry goods, coffee, uh, stuff like that. Below that I have two more crates that slide out. These are mason jars with food items like rice, sugar, flour, stuff like that. I do have my camera tripod kind of wedged in there. A little bit of storage in front of the wheel well down here. These are the drawers that I mentioned from behind there. These come in very handy. I have the rest of my clothing in the top drawer. Some electronics storage here and they're held in by this bungee cord. And I'll usually have a couple things stored here on the floor in front of it. But one of the things I like about this layout is the big open space on the floor here. It allows me to maneuver around, move stuff around within the van without getting too claustrophobic. And I really enjoy that about this layout. I did not have that in the previous setup with the bed along the back. So I really enjoy this nice open space. And I have a decent walkway to get in from the side of the van, which is very nice. I do have my passenger seat turned around. It's not on a swivel, it's just turned around and bolted that way. But I don't sit in it often, I usually just have my curtain up. And that's how the van looks there. We'll give you another look. Very simple but effective setup for one person. It's really served me well, it's gotten me all over the country. I've seen some really great places and I have, feel like I have all the comforts that I really need. Well, thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed taking a closer look at my camper van setup. It has served me very well. I've been very pleased with it. So we'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care. Peace.